Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. I am super duper thrilled to have you today because I have got a big video that I have been working on for, I mean, kind of almost two months, 30 days hardcore, as you obviously see, but um, kind of like two months. I've been planning this for a while and really doing a lot of research and everything. So a lot went into today's video. I hope you get so much from it. This is a 30 day Instagram challenge specifically for artists. Now we are all having problems with our engagement. Everyone from the biggest art pages to the littlest guy. There are some serious issues with Instagram not showing our posts to anyone and I think a lot of it is just because the market is oversaturated which means that you have to do more than just posting pretty pictures. I mean posting pretty pictures with thoughtful captions, yes that is definitely important but that's basically what everyone's doing so today I am going to share with you a personal challenge that I made up to basically own my Instagram for a month and I want to say it's, you know, it's a lot of work and I'm not expecting everyone to do 45 minutes of Instagram every single day forever for the rest of their lives, but it's a really good way to kind of turbocharge your page real quick, get some traction going and then pick like your favorite, you know, whatever parts to continue doing. So anyways, I hope that you have seen the last three videos on this series. If not, I would definitely recommend checking those out because they will come into play today for sure. And uh, oh, any of the information you need, um, like the, the printout um, worksheet and all that kind of stuff, check down below. I have a blog post, all that good stuff, all the links, anything you need is going to be down there. Um, there's even a few um, YouTubers that I recommend that I've gotten a, a lot of information from. So I want to shout them out too. So uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you learned so flipping much because I know I have. Whew, I am still learning a lot. This has been a big deal in the making. Please pop that subscribe button if you do learn anything because it really helps grow my channel and to make sure that I know that you guys are getting something out of this because I mean, I'm literally trying to grow my business like kind of on camera with you guys so we are very much in this together I am I am maybe about this much ahead of you <laughs> and if I can just keep that much ahead of you I will keep sharing all the knowledge until we are like this one day okay anyways I don't want to keep talking this is a long video oh my god we can do this together you guys all right I love you thanks for being here Alrighty guys, so first things first, before I go over the actual list, I want to go over like kind of the structure of what we're trying to do here this month. So I am calling it one 45 minute Instagram block every single day. Now that's a lot of Instagram. Woo! Um, but I think it's important to get started with the bang. Now, I don't think that after a month you should necessarily have to keep up with all of this every single day. However, um, I think keeping up, you know, picking like your 75% most, you know, enjoyable aspects of this exercise and keeping those up on a regular basis, I think will do you very well. Like, this is not like, work hard for 30 days and then start slacking again. No, no, no. So anyways, uh, just wanted to make that clear. Um, so my plan is to try to do 45 minutes every single day, including these things. And some of these are goals and some of these are like things you can definitely do. So I just wanted to give you a quick peek at the checklist real quick. You can pause it if you need it for longer, but I do have this as a downloadable and printable document in my blog post that goes along with this video. Check down below for links and you can snag a copy of this checklist for yourself. So first things first. Um, I want to be commenting on five larger artists page. Now Instagram, they really like for you to be active in the comments on other people's pages. They don't just want you to sit there and hang out on your own page and wait for everyone to come to you all the time. Like you need to go out there and be active. And if you are on, um, commenting on five larger artists. Now I'm going to be saying artists, of course, because I'm going to be doing mine all about art. So I want to relate to those people, but the likelihood is that when you're commenting on these larger pages, a lot of times people scroll through the comments and they might see you. And especially if your Instagram handle has something like mine is Kaylee bird art. So anybody who sees my handle knows, Oh, this is an art page. You know what I mean? So it's a good idea to actually to have that in your handle. Um, but if you comment on larger artists page, there's a very good chance that somebody will see it. And don't just be like, good work. Think of something either witty, funny is good, or um, something that's like, uh, 
you know, introspective. That's like, oh, I really love the use of the color yellow in the background and how it comes through in the foreground in her hair or something like that. You know what I mean? Like be meaningful, give it a reason for people to like it and interact with you. And then they might just follow you to your page and be like, wow, this artist is really good. Follow, follow, interact, interact, right? Okay. Um, same is true with responding to comments. Number two is responding to comments on five larger pages. Again, you know, hang out in the comment section there. Respond to some other people's introspective things. Maybe like a few things. Maybe laugh at something. Or, you know, if you can start a little mini convo with somebody, that's good. Um, and then uh, next one is interacting with five likers pages. So the thing with Instagram is that if you're liking stuff on somebody's page and they're liking stuff on your page, automatically they recognize that there's like a relationship there. Or especially if you're like DMing each other, Instagram recognizes that there's a relationship there. So they're gonna make sure that your stuff pops up in each other's feed more regularly. So if if you have people that are liking your work and then you make it a point to go through to their pages and again, like introspective comments, something meaningful, don't just write a bunch of stars and trash, like actually care a little bit. Um, and then, you know, like some of their stuff or whatever. Don't be overboard, but you know, like do it naturally then Instagram will make sure that you guys are both popping up more and yada yada, so it's a good thing. Um, and then of course, interacting with my own commenters. Like, I'm not great at this, but if you can start a conversation in your comments, it's really good. Like, it's really easy for someone to be like, that's beautiful, and you to be like, thank you so much, which is honestly a lot of times what I do. But if you could somehow turn that's beautiful into like, thank you, were you referring to you know, the figure more or the landscape more. So like, I don't see, I'm not very good at that. That's something I need to, <laughs> need to work on myself. But somehow if you can like interact with your commenters a little bit deeper and maybe even have even just a short combo that goes back once and forth, like that can be really good. These ones are pretty obvious, but still they're on the checklist because they need to be done. And that is two plus stories daily. Instagram loves you to be active on your stories. Five posts weekly, like on your actual feed. Um, this is something I'm kind of bad at, but I'm gonna try to get better. Um, responding to comments within four hours of posting because Instagram, like, they're gonna favor your post if it's more active, and you can make it more active by, like, responding to the comments. Now, I've, I've talked about this before, I do not keep notifications on my phone. I don't think it's good, I don't think it's healthy, I don't advise it. Um, but if you know that you're posting, maybe go back and check it every hour, hour and a half for the next couple hours and, you know, interact. Um, uh, real quick, why I don't think it's good to have notifications. Um, for one, it will make you insane if your phone's beeping all the time and it breaks your concentration for like everything. If you're trying to be creative or paint a painting and your phone is being like, so-and-so like this, so-and-so cared about this, so-and-so followed you, like it's too much. So anyways, as, as an artist, as someone who needs a lot of like creative headspace, I would definitely not have notifications on your phone. Um, okay, and then the last one is um, two shares by brands slash influencers slash theme pages. And I mean that in a month, like two shares in a month would be amazing if you could Check do down below for links because I literally just made a video all about how to get featured on Instagram by other pages. I think you'll find it very helpful for this exercise. Okay, now this last section is the metrics. Now, um, let me preface before we start talking numbers like follower counts and um, numbers of likes and numbers of engagement, all that kind of stuff, realize that I'm not even lying. What is more important than high numbers is high ratios. So usually you'll see somebody's page that has, let's say 3,000 followers on it and they'll have whatever, 100, maybe 200 likes or whatever on each post, especially now with the Instagram algorithm going down. So that's that's not bad, you know what I mean? That's a little less than 10%, which is good on Instagram these days. But sometimes I'll come across an Instagram artist page and they'll have like 1,200 followers, 1,500, not many, and they'll be getting like three, four, 500 likes on like every single photo. Now I mean, that's a lot of likes no matter how you look at it, but what's shocking is the ratio. So don't feel like it's a race to get the most numbers ever 
What you want is not the most numbers, but the most engaged people. Because I'm telling you guys, you don't need 100,000 people to like your artwork to make it as an artist. You really don't. You really, really honestly don't. You know, a couple thousand people that like it and then just a couple hundred that are like super into it can really kind of get you going, you know what I mean? So you really like, it's not about just like packing on the numbers, it's about having true connections, true engagement, and I mean, and you're an artist, and these people love your art, and you love their art, like, what could be more fun to engage than that, you know what I mean? So look at it in that way, like, oh, this is my job, is like to hang out with artists online? Yeah, okay, I can do that, you know? So that's how you gotta look at it, you gotta look at it like a positive spin instead of like, oh, I gotta go do my Instagram today, because that's how I look at it sometimes. <laughs> but no, we gotta be positive. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So. Here are the metrics. I think it is important to, to have metrics because numbers are an easy way for us to look back, especially like two and three weeks ago to see what's going on. But again, it's way more about um, the quality than the quantity. And I know everybody says that, but I'm for real. I'm very serious. I'm very serious. It, it only takes a few people to really be into your art to make it happen. So follower count, number one. Um, average likes for the three previous posts because you know how it is. Like you can't just say that one post. You gotta see kind of how things are building. So I would take the three, you know, and when you do an average, you take the however many numbers. So one, two, three previous posts, um, add them all together and then divide by the number three or however many you're trying to average. So that's how you get that number. Um, and then average comments for the three previous posts. Average story views for my three previous posts. And now for the story views, I think what I'll probably do it instead of like the three individual um, like story pages, I might do it as like the chunks because sometimes I'll have like four pages that I'll post all at once that's all about like one story. So what I would probably do would be like to count like maybe like the first one or something like that, or maybe if you really wanna be good, average that little chunk and use that as one of the three numbers. Hopefully I'm not getting too confusing, but kind of figure out your own way. You know, this is, again, the numbers are not that important, but it's just a way that you can see over a period of time how things are fluctuating. Um, and then again, average story comments, same thing. And then I have down here, artwork randomly shared, question mark, because sometimes somebody just shares some of your artwork and that's amazing. And what that means, if somebody just randomly, out of the blue, just like a, somebody online shares your artwork, does that mean that you're really making an impact on them? Because people don't share what they don't connect with and feel as sort of part of their own and represents themselves in some way. And so if people find that your artwork represents themselves in six in some way, then that is like, you're doing it! Like, yay! Like, that's goals! That's what you want. What you want more than anything is for people to think of your art as them. Not as like, they own the art, but like, this is so representative of me that this artwork speaks to my soul and I can literally wear this artwork out to the world and be like, this is who I am. That's goals. That's what you want more than anything, okay? <laughs> and um, honestly, I should have put on here, oh, excuse my phone. Um, uh, you know, well, I left a few little blank spaces in case we wanted to add anything, but I think another one of the good things is maybe to add on there something about like using the different platforms. Like if you can figure out a way to like use IGTV maybe once every week. I'm just kind of not thinking of this, but I think that would be a good thing, you know, or like, you know, just making sure that you're interacting on as many of the different aspects that Instagram has available. Um, oh, or yeah, the IGTV or IGV, IG, uh, IG Live. You know what, we should add that on there. I'll add that one on, the, this is not on mine, but I'll add the one that you guys will get. Let's say um, at least one something on either TV or live every week. I think that's good because then you're using other aspects. So anyways, okay, I'll put that up here probably at the top. So I think that should be good. Okay, now I don't want you to think that I'm gonna go through this entire insane long list every single day with you. What I'll do is I'll kind of check in every few days and I'm gonna be honest with you guys and I'm gonna post a blank one and I'm gonna post my own and we'll just kind of see how this month goes and fingers crossed, you know what I mean? Like. This is all about connecting with our audience in a truer and more meaningful and deeper way. If you just want a bunch of comments and stuff, you can go buy that, you know, you can buy buy likes and stuff like that. But if you want to if you want to interact and you want to get deep, let's do this. <laughs>
I just wanted to give you guys a little update on um, how my little checklist is going. It's about uh, halfway through the month right now, and uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. The first week, I was terrible. I was super slack. I was pretty good with like some of it, but not all of it. And there was a few days when I think I even lied to myself, and even though I engaged with like three people, I called it five or whatever. So, you know, I was really not getting results, you know, spoiler alert. I wasn't doing what I should be doing and I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. Oh wow, didn't see that coming. So I scratched it, I was like, no, you know what, if I actually want this to work and I actually wanna be able to share good information with you guys, get it together, Kaylee, we gotta do this. So I scratched that entire first week and I started over. So now I am about two weeks in and I decided to reward myself as I do with my planner with a highlighter. I have found that if I highlight the things that I complete rather than like just Xing or crossing up, then it's like a goal. I'm like, oh, I want more colors, I want more colors. So when I do my things, I get more colors. Um, so anyways, yeah, things are actually going pretty well. Um, I've been managing to post, you know, five times a week and doing stories basically like every single day. Um, my, I, I did wind up getting on an art feature page. Um, my engagement has so far, or I should say my followers have so far increased by like over 30 in a few days, which is good, well in like two weeks, which is good considering that they're like actual dedicated people and I'm not doing any follow unfollow, none of that stuff. And I'm not even really necessarily like seeking out new people per se. I'm just kind of pumping up my page and engaging with people that are already there. And so a lot of this is just me being more active in the algorithm saying like, oh, she's being more active. We should reward her by showing her stuff to more people. So this is without me even like going out and finding people. This is just with me doing the best that I can on my page and engaging with people that are already there. So that's not really, that's not bad to like have gained 30 followers just by kind of like doing that. And like being featured of course helps and that kind of thing too. Um, so anyways, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of the progress that I'm making. I'm doing well. Um, it, like I'm not, you know, and I actually, okay, let me say this. The first week it was like a chore and I was like, oh my God, like every day I'm like thinking about how to do this and it's like, oh, I don't feel like it. But then I started realizing like so much of life and this is across the board. This is what I apply to just my personal life in general. So much of life is how you react to it. So it's like, okay, I have this thing that I need to do. Psychologically, am I gonna sit here and dread it and hate it? Because then it's gonna be awful. Or can I tell myself that I am gaining something that I'm enjoying it because I'm benefiting my art business, which of course I want to do, you know, like, so I decided that I just need to like rearrange my thought process. So I started to get like more excited and instead of just doing it as a chore, I'm like, no, I want to find like actual interesting things to say. I want to like actually engage with people, like not just be like, oh wow, you did a good job on that. I want to be like, oh, I really liked your use of teal, you know, in that, you know, darker part of this, the jawline or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm making a point to be more specific and actually you guys, I am enjoying it. Like now when I go on my Instagram, like I have like people that comment back. I have like, I'm making like little, little friends, little conversations. There's a few of my favorite artists that are like big that have like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers. And they're like responding back to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, this artist might like actually know who I am at some point. I'm like, not that I'm really a big fangirl type anyways, but it is kind of amazing when you engage with someone that seems like they've got like, vast amounts of people around them they actually engage back to you and so now i'm kind of realizing like how important it is for you to engage back to your followers even if you know even though we don't have tens and hundreds of thousands of followers yet like it is kind of a big deal when you reach out to someone and you're like you know not really expecting anything and they actually engage in a meaningful way back so it's funny because the things that i'm like telling myself i need to do now i'm doing i'm enjoying them it's feeling less like a chore and now i'm seeing how other people are doing it too so it's like i'm i'm enjoying like these ways of interacting on both sides hopefully that makes sense and that wasn't like a crazy rant i don't know how better to explain that but anyways it feels it's feeling cyclical in a good way if that makes sense you know what i mean so anyways if you're like me and you're not really necessarily like a big social media person i mean obviously i post regularly and stuff but i know some people will be checking their social media like eight times a day and i'm like twice maybe and i mean if i'm having like a really good day sometimes i won't put i mean i've gone on vacation and just not even touched my phone for three weeks before and not had a problem with that at all you know what i mean so it's whatever for me but i i have to say following these little things and really trying to be good and really trying to like get get all up in it <laughs> um, is fun. I'm enjoying it. I am, I am enjoying 
um, Instagram in a way that I have not really before or haven't really in like a long time because I've gotten, you know, you kind of get sick of it. Sometimes it seems like a little bit too like spammy or sponsory or advertising or whatever, but putting my like best foot forward and actually trying to be more interested and interesting is now garnering interested and interesting people coming back to me. So long story long, it's only the halfway point. I'm gonna tell you again, you know, how I go so far, but if you're like me, reward yourself with some color and you will want to do your things, I'll tell you exactly how I do my color peek too at the end. Okay guys, the moment I know you've been waiting for, let's talk results. Now, remember how I said at the beginning of the video, like, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We'll see, we're doing this together. Well, I'm glad I said that because <laughs> the results were not like hugely dramatic, okay? So I'm not a sensationalist, I don't wanna lie to you guys, they weren't. However, however, they were actual real results. I did gain a way more followers in the last month than I have in the last few months put together, okay? I'll say that. Um, Weirdly though, my engagement per post per se didn't really increase that much. However, I want to say that I think um, over a long, it would need a longer period of time because like I gained, a, I mean, I'm really happy with the number of followers that I gained. Genuine people that have stuck around. They're not following me, waiting to see if I follow back and then unfollowing or whatever. Like some I have followed back if I'm genuinely interested and some I have not. Like I tend to, if somebody follows me and has a private page and doesn't interact in any way, just get a follow, I don't tend to follow people back because I don't want to like ask to be there and then they accept me and then I look at their page and I'm like, I'm really not interested in this and then unfollow them. I don't know, it just feels like mean or something. Like, so I don't know. So I tend to just not do it. Um, a lot of times like, you know, I, 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 oft, I often don't follow people back unless they have made some sort of interaction. Like if they've liked two or three things or maybe commented on one or two things and then followed, then I will tend to like pay more attention or whatever. But anyways, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. But I just want you to know that I'm not out there like actively like doing anything other than what I am telling you exactly this month. I'm not really out there seeking more people. Um, however, I have gotten um, a genuine amount of people paying attention to my page. I actually um, reached a milestone, so now I am like almost to, well right now I'm almost at uh, 3,100 and I have been hovering just below, just like, just below 3,000 around like 2950 to 3000 for like a few months. It was like this weird thing where I was like kind of cursed to stay right in that vicinity. I'm talking for like, I feel like it was like six months or something. Like I would get people, I might even get like a, a promotional post or something and get people and then all of a sudden like they would just be gone and then I'd get more and just and like, so it was like this thing of like, I was just right at like, you know, 2950, 60, 70, 80 for like, Six months. I don't know. It's so funny, but I, you know, that's like it's all it's all a learning lesson. You're just kind of like you just gotta let it roll off and be like, whatever. It's about the people who are here, not about the people who aren't. Um, but anyway, so I wound up crossing that 3,000 um, follower milestone by quite a bit by the end of this. So that was, you know, that's a nice surprise. It's just nice to feel not stuck anymore. You know what I mean? Like just to be like, okay, there is some kind of progress that I can see. So, anyways, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but um, you know, I know. For me, I like to hear personally about other people's experiences, not just like, here's a list of what to do or don't. Like, I like to hear what is actually going on with other artists. So that's why I like to be very transparent and open about what's going on with me. So you are gonna see all of my actual numbers. Now, this is uh, my checklist. As I told you, I kind of screwed up the first week or whatever. So um, I started, you know, that's that big black line. So I started here and I actually had to go over, but don't worry, I have something much prettier that I will post for you to actually see up close. Um, but I just wanted to go over um, also uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my computer and I'm gonna show you some little little graphs and charts and things um, so that you can see my progress but in case you're curious about my color coding system as I said before I like to reward myself with color um, because then it's like something visual that I can attain and be like ooh, I really hope I get a pink or ooh, I really hope I get the green ones like the green ones are the, the money the ones that you really want so um, pinks are the days that I did everything that I needed to that I like did my commenting I interacted you know I did posts I did stories like pinks are like great job Kayla you did you did everything you needed to do 
greens are like when you did everything but there's actually like something extra like I did like a, an IG uh, live or um, if I got shared by like a big art promote page so that means that that was like a big day like there was some kind of big way that I was trying to reach out to people and so I wanted to have one or two greens a week I didn't quite do as well in the beginning but towards the end I did and actually um, since finishing this a few days ago I have been featured again now two more times on another page and um, so I, I just I've been bumped up again by even more people looking at my page so um, you know it's one of those things like yeah I was doing some pay to pay pay to play pages but you know that is an advertising budget for a business I don't really do advertising like on Google or anything else and so to spend you know whatever ten fifteen dollars every couple of weeks or whatever to get featured and have my art shown to a niche audience you know what I mean like it's not like I'm just like posting my artwork on like I don't even know just some random forum where anybody could walk by there I am specifically hiring a page to show my art to people that are interested in art so you know I know I've kind of said it a few times but the the, the art share pages when they're good are good and that honestly like has been one of the best ways to get people that are genuinely interested in my art that are not looking for like a, a follow for a follow or like whatever that you know what I mean that like actually are like yeah I love art and I like your art and that's why I'm here like so I have gotten a lot of genuine people there you know so it's felt good and I've been you know pretty glad to be there this whole week so anyways let's take a look at some of the charts so here's a little peek at my month I know it's kind of hard to read so I'll close up a little bit on you so you can get a feel of kind of how I kept track of all my days once I was done with that I put everything into a super simple Excel spreadsheet just to kind of see where my numbers were lining up over time so definitely my follower count is where I saw the most dramatic results. You can see, especially towards the end when I was featured a few times, they really shot up in a nice way. And what's great is that even after about a week of this being over, my follower count has continued to rise. They have not gone away, so they have been genuine. So this is actually where I was a bit surprised to not see more progress because I definitely felt like every time I was opening my phone, there was a lot more comments and more interaction. Now, I know a lot of that was on other people's pages, but still, it just felt like a lot more active. So I was a little surprised. However, what did wind up happening, and I didn't think about this until the end of the month, was that about three quarters of the way through the month, I started running a big studio sale. Now, what happened was, although I was still posting on a regular basis, my captions got a lot less engaging, specifically because the way I was running my sale was every day for a month there was a different thing on sale, and so I would write a little something about just what that object was, and what the sale price was and then there would be like a paragraph about what the guidelines for the sale were so all of a sudden my post um, were just as you know pretty and well placed and well timed and all that visually but all of a sudden the captions got you know I would say less interesting because I wasn't like telling a story or opening up I was just like this is a piece of art for sale so what happened was I think is that because people were not really reading the captions they weren't staying on my post as long so then Instagram stopped showing them to as many people so even though my follower count was raising people were engaging with my post less because I had made them less engageable I kind of shot myself in the foot here it was sort of an accident so I'll just have to say that although interaction and stuff is very important this just goes to show that having a quality post with an engaging caption is crucial have one more thing that I want to add which um, I don't think I've heard another youtuber at all say this or anyone really about how to get more followers on Instagram um, the number one best way to get a truly genuine follower who really cares and is gonna follow you like for a long time maybe years and is gonna be the most likely person to buy something from you if not huge things at least like prints or something like honestly to find that person and there are not 
20,000 of them, 30,000, you're not gonna get 20, 30,000 of them, but you will. You, you can get a couple thousand of them. The best, best way is one at a time, IRL. That's right, in real life. The best way to get a genuine follower on Instagram is to meet a human being in real life. Yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe that people might care about an artist they read in real life versus one they see on a screen that they flip by and they see a thousand other ones? My goodness, I know, it's just shocking, right? So if you really want to um, gain some genuine, real people that genuinely really care and are really interested and really have a passion, go out, meet people, go to art shows, Get interested in other artists. And by the way, you're gonna to wanna to follow these people back because you're gonna have met them in person and you're gonna genuinely care what's going on with them. Amazing how that works, right? So, like, I can't tell you how many times, like, when I sit there and really pay attention to my Instagram, I'm like, I would have to say 75% maybe of the people that are most interactive with my page that are liking, like, every single thing that are commenting and not just like nice work thumbs up that are actually like oh my gosh I love this thing da, 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 or like oh this is so meaningful or oh my gosh I can't believe that description I would say probably 75% of those people are people that I've met in real life wow what do you know they care about someone they meet in real life so get out get out of your studio go say hi I make sure everywhere I go all of the time all over the place I have a business card oh, I probably shouldn't show my phone number but I have a business card with my number and my stuff I'm Kaylee Bernard on everything so anytime somebody's like oh great to meet you let me get your phone number I'm like here you go and that way they're like oh you're an artist you do all this fancy stuff or they're like oh or you know what do you do I'm like oh I'm an artist here you go oh look here you can see a piece of my art and hello I'm uh, I'm not vain but if you want someone to remember who gave them a business card why not put your picture on it yeah I've literally had people tell me like oh I've had your business card for like two years now, three years now. Yeah, you know, your picture, like I know who it is. It's your picture on it, you know? So um, yeah, go out, meet people. Interested people are interesting, okay? So go out and be interested in what's going on in your community and be interested in other artists and, and other art opportunities or teaching or whatever, education, museums, like just go out there and the more you meet people, the more they're gonna care, and the more you're gonna care about them. So, anyways, spoiler alert, the best way to get real followers on Instagram is to go be a human being. Yay, I love you guys, thanks for being here. Pop that subscribe button, I'll see you soon.